All right. I have received my new K4 5000. This is from XO Outdoors. I uh, decided to go ahead and get a frame pack. I'm going to be doing an elk hunt. For the first time, I live in Georgia. I'm going to drive to Colorado, do DIY elk hunting. So here is how XO Mountain Gear has shipped me their pack. So we have the K4 5000. I got a few extras. I went ahead and got the Nalgene holder and two zippered hip pouches, which will attach to the hip belt area on the K4 5000. I've also got these a uh, little extra cargo zipper pouches that you can you can insert those into various different pockets inside of the backpack so yeah here's here's how it came here's the actual pack um, yeah we got the frame we got adjustable pads here really good looking lumbar support adjustable waistband um, it, it looks like it compacts down very, very well. So, let me get this undone. So, yeah, it looks like you can really press this puppy down, which is awesome. And then it expands and can fit up to you know five to seven days worth of gear is what they say for the for the 5000 it's got a lid with a bunch more space on it uh kind of a roll top design here so on the exterior Good pocket there. Got the roll top design here. Man, that comes up. Like if you just wanted to do a couple folds, you've got a lot of space in this backpack. Um, waterproof bladder pocket. So if you come around here, you have this zipper and you can stick your water bladder down there uh, feed it through and if it breaks leaks or anything you're not going to get the contents of your bag all wet so that's a huge plus here so um, this is removable the lids removable uh, looks like you can access the main compartment from the sides. Oh, that's, sorry. That is the big spotting scope pocket. So on this, you can put, you know, spotting scope, really anything you want in there. And on the other side is an identical pocket. So I'm just now getting into this bag, but it looks like we have all sorts of options here. So we got a big water bottle holder uh, that attaches from the frame. There's plenty of other videos out there. I would highly recommend going to um, XO, Outdo XO Outdoors uh, website. And they actually have a YouTube channel as well where they go over all the specs. They go over all the how to's on how to actually remove your pack and you can just use the frame as a hauler um and but yeah you basically remove the pack from the frame sandwich your meat in between the pack and the frame and you're ready to haul hundreds of pounds hopefully comfortably so this is my first actual pack um i've, I've done a lot of backpacking in my life i've 
I've used various outdoor packs over the years and you know I've never gotten one specifically for meat hauling um, and so here it is it is the XO K4 5000 completely unboxed and my initial impressions are very very good I think I mean it just looks like it's gonna stand up to some abuse it looks like it's got all the space that I need for anything that I'm gonna be doing um, packing out elk bear deer I do a lot of like solo backcountry hunt style DIY out of state kind of things and I really have been needing a good pack so um, yeah, I reached out to XO Outdoors and they gave me a 40% discount on their pack and, and I'm going to give them a review and see how everything goes. Um, so far, initial impressions are very, very good. I'll be doing some testing here in a month. I'll be taking it to Colorado to do archery elk. So, um, I am excited about all the upcoming trips. And then I'm gonna do backcountry North Georgia black bear hunt as well. So I'm hoping to pack out a few animals with it this year. Knock on wood, we have some success. Put a couple arrows through some big game and get some meat loaded down on this thing. You know, and even if it ends up just hiking around, it looks like it's gonna carry as much backpacking gear as you need, you know, camp stove, um, tents, food, all the above. So I'm going to be running it through some training tests as well. I'm going to load it down with, uh, I've got, I've got adjustable dumbbells so I can, I can put, you know, 40 pounds at the bottom, put some clothes in there, maybe do another 40, just get, Get, get 80 to 100 pounds on this thing and just do some hiking on some local trails, get it broken in, figure out how I need to adjust it because this pack looks very, very adjustable. So you've got all sorts of adjustability. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get it dialed in to my specific body shape. Make sure when you order it, you actually follow the, the guidelines on the website on you know your height your waist size just you know follow that stuff to a t and hopefully you'll get the best fitting pack so i went ahead with the first light camo i was tempted to go with the the moss green color but i'm actually really happy i think this i think this first light pattern i think it's a specter pattern that's going to go with a lot of my my camouflage and it's just a good good looking good pack to be to be backcountry hunting you know if you're if you're walking around with camp on your back and putting a stock on something it, it's good to have a good breakup pattern some guys are all about the solids i like a good camouflage so here we are xo k4 5000 i'll keep y'all posted so i hope you guys like this review if you did smash the thumbs up like button go ahead and hit the subscribe uh, let me know if there's any other gear reviews you might want to see. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those. If you have anything um, that you would like to see in regards to testing the pack, uh, loading it down under weight, doing some trial hikes, um, I'll have more content coming out on it. But yeah, as, as always, feel free to, to leave ideas in the comments, guys. I'm going to take y'all's input into these next few videos. So uh yeah hit the like button hit the subscribe and we'll see you on the next video